आई एम डॉक्टर प्रियदर्शिनी करवे आई एम डायरेक्टर ऑफ समुचित एनवायरोटेक विच इज़ अ सोशल एंटरप्राइज वी आर इन टू प्रमोटिंग क्लीन कुकिंग एनर्जी डिवाइसिस बोथ इन रूरल एंड अर्बन एरियाज विच आर प्राइमरीली बेस्ड ऑन वेस्ट बायोमास well this is essentially a waste management system which provides you a way of uh, uh, replacing lpg in the kitchen with a renewable uh, fuel which is as convenient and as user friendly as lpg so even if at the garbage dump level you install a very uh, efficient and very uh, modern system for dealing with the waste the fact remains that you are already using a lot of fossil uh, fuel in order to get whatever output you get from there so instead of that our focus is that uh, waste should be dealt with especially organic waste it should be dealt with at the point of source well biogas technology is uh, nearly more than 100 year old technology uh, it was invented in india um initially people have used only dung or fecal matter to generate biogas uh the problem with that approach is you get very little gas uh, by consuming a lot of material so for example if you are looking at a cow dung based biogas system 40 kg of dung sits in the digester for 40 days and afterwards you get 1 kg of biogas if you put sugar or starch or any high calorie uh, material in a biogas system then it will give you much more gas and very little effluent so for example if you use 1 kg of sugar then it will give you 1 kg biogas within one day so on one hand you have 40 kg of dung and 40 days versus 1 kg sugar and one day of course 1 kg sugar is much more expensive but you don't have to put pure sugar you can take any food waste it contains sugar starch protein fat people were equating gobar gas with biogas for many years uh, my father uh, started experimenting on this he is a, a botanist so he looked at it from the microbiological perspective and he realized that if the bacteria are working To, and you you want them to produce gas for you then you have to give them something which they like to eat now uh, these are the same bacteria which live in animal stomach so whatever the animal eats is the food for the bacteria also dung is the material which comes out because neither the animal nor the bacteria have been able to digest it so basically what we came up with is an urban biogas system which nobody had thought of before because if gobar has to be there then it has to be rural that was the thinking but once you take out the gobar from that equation then suddenly it becomes a more suitable system for urban households which are generating organic waste and which have a problem of dealing with organic waste once we came up with this idea that uh, you can use organic waste you don't need dung and this has to be an urban system then naturally the next question was how to make it then uh, in such a way that uh, an urban say apartment house can install it because if you have seen the traditional biogas systems these are underground and constructed uh, so uh, my father came up with the idea of using water storage tanks so you just take one large tank and one small tank the small tank goes upside down in the large tank so this basically becomes your biogas system uh, the large tank at the bottom which is the digester tank is totally full of water in that every day you are putting your food waste the bacteria are living in that water uh, in order to uh, bring the bacteria in initially as a sort of inoculation you use some dung the bacteria come from the dung get established there later you don't put any dung at all you only keep on feeding the bacteria now the bacteria will produce gas which will accumulate in the top uh, uh, tank which rises up 
So, this is the gas holder tank which will rise up when gas is generated and fall down when you use the gas. So, just by looking at the gas holder, the person knows how much gas is there and you can utilize it. Uh, if you use a tank which is 500 liters, then it fits easily in a 3 foot uh, balcony. So, uh, anybody who has a balcony which is exposed to sunlight or a small terrace which is exposed to sunlight can install this kind of a system. Nothing more than plumbing is required. Within 4 hours, the entire system is put together uh, and you can immediately start using it. As far as the whole issue of waste management is concerned, uh, we uh, in Pune have been sort of forced to be environment friendly because there is now no space to dump our garbage. So the municipality has practically given up and said that we have to deal with our own organic waste. So people have had to find a way, I mean there has been no other choice. But in general it is true that there is more uh, environment consciousness and therefore uh, more scope for these type of initiatives. Samuchit Envirotech was established about 10 years ago, uh, primarily as a company to sell uh, clean cooking energy devices. So that was the objective. We had a, a project. Uh, so this company was created as a part of the project to prove that smokeless stoves and biogas plants are things which can be sold without subsidy. Well, in the future, the focus will be more and more on urban uh, issues uh, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, as I said, uh, because of climate change and because uh, in urban areas, this whole, uh, uh, you know, uh, pressure of uh, consumption is growing so much that it has become more imperative to continue talking with urban Indians to keep, keep them, make them aware of what is the path that they are getting onto. That's one. Secondly, uh, interestingly, we realized that when we shifted our focus from rural to urban and started selling our devices in urban areas, uh, the demand from rural areas went up because there is an aspirational connection there. Environmental problems are originating from urban lifestyle. So unless urban people work on uh, making their own uh, living in a more environment friendly way, uh, we don't have any moral right to uh, ask rural people uh, to change the way uh, they use resources.